to show you guys today how I get my everyday makeup look. So I went ahead and I used my Lubriderm. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I washed my face in the shower and then I put this on my face, this Lubriderm. I like it because I feel like it's very moisturizing and I love how that feels on my skin. And then I also use the Neutrogena Sensitive Skin 60 SPF. I like this because I have a lot of freckles and like darker spots right here and I just feel like I need a really good sun protectant from the, you know, just being outside and like it's summertime and stuff like that. So I use this every single day, especially it is a must with my morning routine. I actually don't really use foundation and I used to use um, like a like a makeup primer. Just, I haven't really been impressed with a lot of the primers I've been using recently. So I kind of just took that out of my like regimen like all together. So right now I'm not using any foundation. I just use concealer. So what I'll do is I'll just go in and just put my concealer in all my problem areas. I like to use this blending brush. Um, I don't really remember, I think I got it from Sephora actually. I don't remember what it's called exactly, but if I find a link to this, I will leave it down in the description. But I'll just go in and blend all of that out. And then I'll take it kind of on my eyelid. Also, this really cute headband is from Target, so stick around to the end of the video and I will show you some other super cute products that I got from Target. Again, this is not a sponsored video. I'm just showing you guys what I like and what I use. Okay, so once I feel like that's blended out pretty good, I will use my 24 hour Studio Fix Smooth Wear Concealer. That's what I'm using. Um, it is by MAC. And I will go back in with the concealer just on my upper lip because it's just kind of dark. I don't know if it's like hormonal or just my freckles or what, but it's not a stash. There's no hair. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. I've kind of always had a darker area there so I just try to conceal that a little bit more okay once all that is done I like to go in with my um, translucent loose setting powder by Laura I think it's Laura Mercier Mercier I don't know how to say it exactly but I just feel like this is a really good powder and all the other ones, all the other setting powders I've used haven't been like as light as this one. So that's why I really like this one. But I'll just take like a little fluffy brush. Um, this one's by e.l.f. It's number 107. And it kind of has been through the ringer. <laughs> but um, I just take a little bit, tap off the excess and I'll just go in and just kind of like lightly pat it around my eyelid and my nose, like under my eye, just to kind of set that. And then I'll take just a little bit more and drag it down around my lip, just kind of wherever I feel like it creases. You just wanna set it so it stays all day. I just literally spilled powder all over myself. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. It's like a huge waste of product. So I get for not paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> so after that, I like to use the NYX um, Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. I really like this one because it gives you a very summery, shiny, bronzy glow and it makes your skin look so healthy. And so I like to use this 
on the areas where I want to shine, I'll actually just take some and squirt like a decent glob on the back of my hand. And I'll just take my two fingers and just get a little bit of product. And then I'll literally just like tap it in and just try to like blend it out like where I want that shine. And you wanna kinda of do like a C shape around your head, like cheekbone area, temple. And then I'll take some on the other side. And then I just take a little bit like on my nose and just tap that in. I'll put a little here, my cupid's bow. I like to do a little bit here. Cause I just feel like wherever you glow, it just looks like young, healthy skin. And I love that. And then I'll take a little bit kind of on my chin. But I'll put like a good amount kind of just like on the sides of my head right here and maybe even like a little bit in the middle. I know this probably seems like I'm going a little crazy with this, but trust me, it looks really pretty. It just gives you that really healthy bronzy glow and I love it. And I know some people are probably like, well, I don't want to look oily, but like, honestly, oily, like moist skin looks healthy. Like you're supposed to look a little glowy. Like you're so, like when you have a lot of oil on your skin, sometimes I think it means that your skin is producing excess, so excess oil because it's so dry. Like you have to use moisturizer. You have to like, use that those products that are gonna help it shine a little I just really think it's pretty okay so I just have a little bit more I'll just put a little bit more here yeah maybe even a little bit on my little eyebrow bridge I don't know what you really call that but sure <laughs> okay so now we are glowing, we are shining, we are looking bronzy. So then I'm gonna go in with my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Love this stuff and it smells so good. Mm. This is what it looks like. And we are just going to take some of this and, and just up our bronze game even more. We're going to take a little bit, just like right here. You don't want to take it all the way out here. You just want a little bit. And like, I already kind of have a dark spot right there. So I just kind of like use that as a guide. And then you just put just a little bit and then just take that up the sides. And this just gives you like a very tan, bronzy look. I don't know, I think it's cute. I think it's pretty. Maybe some people will think that it's a little excessive, but I like it. So then I'll just take some on the other side and then just take that up the sides and on your forehead near your hairline. And then I just kind of try and make sure that's all blended a little bit. Whoops. Okay. So this is just like a big fluffing brush. It says RT. It's a powder brush. I don't remember. I got this at Target, but I don't remember like what company it is. If I find out what it is, I will link it down below. I promise. But it says RT and it's 201. I'm guessing that's the brush number. I don't know. And I like to take this brush and i think i got this at sephora and it has a magnet in the middle which i really haven't found a use for it i mean it sticks to my other brush but i don't really know what else i'd do with the magnet 
sticks to my other brush, but I don't really know what else I do with the magnet. But anyway, it's just like a little angled brush. And I just like to take a little bit of my bronzing powder and just kind of like lightly take it down the sides of my nose just to kind of give it a little contour. Try not to overdo this step because then you just have like brown on the top of your nose and people are like, what the heck is wrong with you? I just kind of take my finger and make sure it's like blended out a little bit. Take my blending brush and just kind of try to make it a little bit more natural-ish. I don't know. And then I'll take another fluffy brush. It's a little bit smaller and I'll just kind of take a little bit of bronzer, tap the excess off, and I just kind of rub it in to the crease and blend it. Just to get that like tired look, if that makes sense. And I like when everything kind of is just bronzy and glowy and matching. I think it's cute. And then you want to take a little bit down here. I'm actually going with a bunch of family to see Toy Story 4 today in IMAX with my son. This is going to be a whole group of us, but it'll be fun. I love Toy Story. I think it's a cute movie. After that, I take another brush, which is fluffy. This is number 400. It's that same RT brush. Um, well, it's not, it's the same RT brand. I don't really know what RT means. I need to look this up and I need to link this down below. <laughs> I apologize. So I like to take my, and I've had this for a while now. This is my Sephora, I think it's called Into the Stars. What is this called? What is this thing called? Oh yeah, it's the Into the, Into the Stars palette. And it's so cool because, and I got this for Christmas a few years ago and I'm still using it, but it opens up like this. Maybe some of you have seen it before, but it has all these compartments. It has like eyeshadows, it has lip gloss, um, brow powders, eyeliner, creams, blush, bronzer and highlighter and it looks like some more eyeshadow. I only really use the blush and the highlight. I used to use the bronzer a lot as you can tell, but I really only use the highlight and the and the blush now. So, I'll show you what I do with that. I like to take my brush and I go into this top middle shade. I don't know why, I just really like it. I don't even think it has a name, but I just really like the color. So I'll just kind of like pat my brush in there and just kind of like try to lightly pop some of this blush onto my face. And I'm not dragging it up. I'm just taking it right on the apples in my cheeks. And then once I feel like I have enough then I take some across the bridge of my nose to almost give me like a sunburnt model type look I don't know why I just I saw someone else do it and I really liked it so that's what I've been doing I don't know I just like the way it looks and then I will take this fluffy fan brush and this one is Kestrel, K-E-S-T-R-E-L. I don't know what number it is. I'm not even quite sure where I got it, but I love it. So I just take this and I actually just kind of wipe it into both highlighters, like both highlight colors right here. And I'll just kind of like dust that in between the two and then just take that on my cheekbones and just kind of like around just to continue to further highlight that area. 
I like to take it kind of like in a C shape here and then just a little bit underneath my eyebrow where the light is gonna hit. And obviously you can see it better on this side because that's where the light is coming in the window because the window's like right there. So sorry you can't see the other side as well. But. And then I'll again take a little bit just lightly down the middle of my nose a little on the tip on my cupid's bow i like to put a little bit here and even take a little bit more on like my temple side of my forehead area and then after that so i'm done with this palette to go in with a really big fluffy brush this one is also by elf i found this at target and i just kind of like just make sure everything's blended and if there's any excess product i'm just kind of like lightly taking that off so and like i said i don't like a really heavy makeup look i kind of like a more natural looking summer glowy type look set my look i mean sometimes i do my eyebrows and then i set it but right now i'm just gonna go ahead and set my look because i'm really done with like my face right now i'm just gonna go to eyebrows and eyelashes next and lips so this is by nyx the dewy finish um long lasting setting spray i like this setting spray i've used some other setting sprays that i didn't really care for i can't remember what the names were but um this one has just been a popular one that I feel like I keep going back to. And I really like it, it's really light. A lightweight water-based setting spray that keeps your makeup looking dewy and amazing. I just, I feel like it's very light and natural and I just really like it. So I'm gonna set my face makeup with this. So now moving on to the brows. So I like to just brush them out. I'm so basic with my brows. Like I don't like to draw shapes or anything like that. I literally just use like a tinted brow mascara, if you will, and just like, like fill it in a little bit. I really don't do anything fancy with my brows. Before I start with my brows, I actually like to take a Q-tip with a little bit of water a little bit of water out and I like to just wipe off any excess makeup from my lips I like to take just some chapstick or right now I have this little EOS egg it's like a little organic mango flavor that someone got me as a gift and I just put something on there to like moisturize it while I'm like finishing everything and I use a lot because my lips get chapped so easy. Yes. Give it all to me. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. Okay, so now I brush out my brows, moisturize my lips, and yes, I do have little laugh lines here because I laugh all the time. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I smile too much. So I am just gonna go in and just lightly paint on a little bit more brow. Cause a lot of times I'm like rushing or someone's rushing me, AKA my husband. <laughs> and so I like to just kind of fill it in real quick and then keep going. I like a really thick um, model looking brow, like messy, not, doesn't really have a lot of shape to it. Like even when I let my brows grow out, like I'll just let them be messy. I'm not gonna sit there and like try and tweeze them and stuff just cause like, I don't know. I just don't really think it looks that bad. I think having a messy brow like isn't the end of the world. I think it's kind of sexy in a way. Like when you see those models with those super bushy, messy brows, like, I don't know, I think it's cute, and so I don't really stress out too much about my brows. Some people like a really clean brow. I just 
kind of go with the flow. I feel like that looks decent, so then I just move on to the next one. Oh, there's a puppy out there. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. The, like, all I saw was him for a hot minute really debated running out there to like steal him like in my robe and everything and then there were some people that walked behind him I was just like dang it <laughs> but he almost looked lost he looks so cute I love puppies I really want a dog by the way if anyone knows of a good pug breeder in the Midwest like Kansas Missouri um, Colorado like any of those surrounding areas please let me know in the comments because we want a pug so bad and I just feel like they're so hard to find around here. I don't know why, like maybe I'm not looking in the right spots, but like we really want like a puppy puppy and like preferably a purebred. And I know people are gonna be like, oh my God, you're supposed to adopt, blah, blah, blah. But like in my family, we just always have bought purebreds and I like to know where my dog's coming from because I've heard horror stories of people adopting pets and then they get really sick and like I just emotionally don't want to go through that I mean I know it's still a possibility with a purebred but I like to have like documentation paperwork I like to know who their parents were what their lineage is where they came from because like having a dog is a huge investment it's not like oh I just go adopt a dog and it's like easy peasy it's like having a fish you know it's totally different I mean there's so many expenses that can go into it and I don't know I just like to buy from a purebred breeder um, so if you guys know of any purebred pug breeders that have puppies for a really good price and they're really trustworthy please let me know because I think we're gonna get a dog within the next year or two for sure I have a feeling and I just like lightly brush the middle because I've kind of gone crazy in the middle before and then it just looks like super intense towards the middle and I'm just like, oh my God, I might as well just connect it and have a unibrow because that's how it looks right now. <laughs> oh crap. After I feel like I've darkened my brows enough, I like to just take my little brush and brush out some of the product so it's not like as intense just kind of like brush it through. See, I kind of like messed up right here, but you can brush it out or if you have to, you just use a Q-tip and get it out that way. I'm gonna like take out just a little product. This video is so long already. Okay, I'm just gonna move on. And just remember, your eyebrows are not twins. They are sisters, so it's okay if one is a little different. It's just a slight little difference. It's okay, it's okay, girl. So now we move on to the mascara. This is the last step. When I get to my mascara, I am so happy because I'm like, yes, finally, I am almost done. By the way, the eyebrow, the tinted brow mascara that I use is by NYX, and it is the color something what color is this es espresso i think it says tbmo4 yeah espresso it is the color espresso i can't really like focus on it but i'll leave a link down below and then um this pencil i think i got or this like brow pencil thing. I think I got it at Sephora. Find it. I'll leave a link, girl. I got you. And then the mascaras I've been using and I've really been liking nowadays are the Voluminous uh, la False Fiber Lashes. Ugh, I can't freaking talk. But voluminous False Fiber Lashes. I like this one because it kind of like gets it started and I really have minimal lashes. So it kind of gets it started and then I go in with the L'Oreal um, I don't even know what this is called, but I'll find out and I'll link it and I like to use that to finish it off. It just makes it very full. So I will show you what I do right now and see my contact. Mm -hmm. 
Fun fact, I'm pretty sure I get my eyes from my mom because her eyes are the same color as mine. And I'm not a false lash girl. I do use false lashes from time to time, but I'm super self-conscious when I wear them because I feel like I have not found a pair that I feel like looks super natural. Like you can't even tell. So I will continue my search and my experimentation with lashes. Gotta mix it up, gotta mix it up. Girl, tell me I look cute. Tell me. You guys ever like do your mascara and poke yourself in the eye? That shit hurts. I have never wanted to cuss more than when I when I when I do that to my eye. Cause it be hurting. It be hurting. Ooh. Woo! Okay, I think I'm ready to move on to the next one, which is the L'Oreal. These hoops is from Target, girl. Target. Seriously, Target is my weakness. Target. Target be getting people. For real, how many of y'all go into Target and spend like 200 bucks? Easy, that you didn't have. Like it ain't nothing. Like you going to buy a piece of candy. You just walk out 200 bucks poor. Yeah, tell me, don't lie. Don't lie, girl, I know you do. I know you do, I do it too. Wait, just excuse all of my little accents. I, I don't really know what all that's about. Just ignore me. No. Oh, okay. We are still recording, thank God. And sometimes I'll throw some eyeliner on, my lower lash line, but I think today I just wanna go for like a less dramatic look. So like I said, I don't have like a ton of eyelashes, but I do feel like a little bit of mascara does help a lot. I feel like what I do looks nice. I don't know, I like it. I just feel like this L'Oreal mascara is really good. So I have been using two different types of lip glosses that I really, really like. Um, I wear the Revlon Matte ultra HD matte lip color. I like to use these a lot in this color. This color is is number 645 HD forever Eternite. I don't know if that's the color or not. Really pretty. It's kind of like what color it is and it's really matte so it gives you like a very matte like almost like kind of dramatic type of look, which I really, really like. But today I think I'm going to use my other favorite lip color, it's by NYX, it's a butter gloss. And this is creme brulee. I really like this one. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna use that today. And I, I don't really like line my lips or anything. I'm not like super good at that. Maybe I'll keep practicing. And I kind of want to try some of the like Kardashian um, lip liners. I've heard those are like really dope. I am going for like a super natural look today. So this is the final natural, kind of like a no makeup makeup look. It's just very bronzy, like highlight, blush a little bit, little sunburnt nose. So this is what I like to do every day. And I hope you found this helpful. If you like this video, please, 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 please give it a thumbs up so more people can see my videos and more people can find this content. Please subscribe if you like me, if you like my videos, and make sure you hit that notification bell. And I will see you in my next video. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram. Instagram, Instagram, check out my Instagram, check out my Instagram. Okay, so also as promised, I told you that I was going to show you some of the other products that I got from, or Target, you know what I mean, from Target. Okay, I'm gonna show you some of the other products that I got from Target, okay? Like I said, I got this headband from Target, $9.99. I also found this super cute headband 
that's kind of similar it's pink and it has like the full headband this one it actually just stops behind your ear it doesn't go all the way around like this one does this one's more of like a hard headband um, but I found this one which I thought was really cute also $9.99 I am kind of obsessed with hair clips right now and I use them pretty often like just put my hair up to clean or to work on something or for whatever reason I just like having all the hair clips all over the house so I saw these and I could not pass these up they are so so cute these are both I think they're both $7.99 and I found this one I just love the design it's so pretty it's like super chic and this is what it looks like and I just I love these big hair clips and I just I couldn't pass up on that design like I had I you know when you're shopping for something and you like have this gut like instinct that you can't shake you're like <sighs> literally like cannot talk yourself out of it that is how i felt when i saw this clip i saw this one too which is a little smaller but i thought this one was super cute too maybe for even like a little half up half down type look and this is what the jaws look like which kind of scared me a little because i was like damn that's sharp but i just got to be super careful because i probably will poke a hole in my scalp if i am not careful with this so but yeah i love this one I thought it was so cute and I it still kind of has that similar like it's like a blue purpley goldish tint I just I love that and I couldn't pass it up I love this little clip I have been dying to have some clips like this for a long time just to kind of do like that flat clip look which I think is so adorable but I really like these colors it's like a gray a blue and then like a lacy navy black and these are also $7.99 and the company that produces all this stuff is A New Day. I, I think I've bought in quite a few of their products actually, but like I said, found this at Target, super cute. Um, let me see if I can get a clip out so I can show you what they look like. But it's almost kind of just like a little, like a bobby pin, kinda. So I'm assuming you just kind of have to pry it open to like get it on kind of like that thought maybe you guys would enjoy seeing that other thing which was kind of unrelated but i just really liked this and i don't remember how much it cost but look at how cute these succulent magnets are they are so adorable and i mean if you follow me on instagram or you have been for a while you know that i'm kind of obsessed with plants and i love gardening and taking care of plants and stuff like that which right now my plant game is severely lacking but i thought these are so cute for a little fridge and i could not pass this up so i got some little succulent magnets i also got this globe i've kind of been wanting like a map of the world for a long time and this globe i think was actually like 15 bucks i want to say maybe 20 and it's black and white which i really like those modern colors this map this little world map it is so detailed I mean, I mean, it has like all the little capitals. It even has Kansas City on here, which is so cute. But yeah, I thought this was cool. And like my husband and I want to travel a lot more. So I thought it would be handy just to have, I just thought this would be helpful to have and is a super cute little decoration to have around the house. I'm trying to decorate more. I'm trying to be better about that. It is the smell jasmine boat bouquet bou bouquet and it is by chesapeake bay candle home scents and it smells amazing oh, yeah. so relaxing this makes me want to draw a hot bath with a nice bath bomb and a glass of wine that is a beautiful thing but i have to go to the movies so like I said, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. If you are new, welcome, and please subscribe if you like this video, if you like my channel, leave a comment down below. Um, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram. I also have a blog. Um, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Snapchat. I will leave all that stuff down below so you can check me out on whatever platform you want. Thanks again for tuning in and 
have a wonderful day.